guys, this is Lisa Marie with Teens Want to Know, and we're at the El Portal Theater for an evening with the Fosters. Let's see who we can talk to. But first, thanks, Miss Behave Girls, for giving me this beautiful dress. It is definitely one of my favorites, I gotta say. Families The Fosters is a drama about two moms raising a blended family of biological, adopted, and foster children. While some find the show controversial, others praise it for its positive portrayal of same-sex couples and for bringing attention to the U.S. foster care system, which has an average of 400,000 children in it at any given time. If your family would like to find out more about adopting or fostering a child, there are many resources online, including childwelfare.gov and adoptuskids.org. And now, let's catch up with our host Lisa Marie Woods and the stars of The Fosters. Working on the show has definitely been uh, an educational experience for me to learn what foster kids go through on a day-to-day -day basis and to also see what it's like from their point of view and also from the point of view of kids like Jesus and Mariana. And it's important to have that perspective, especially to be on the show. The biggest lesson that I've learned while working on the show is that your family doesn't necessarily have to be someone you're related to, but it could be someone you just share love with and somebody that you really admire and somebody that you feel a connection to. If you could give one piece of advice to all the foster kids out there, what would it be? One piece of advice I would give to foster kids out there is to have hope, have faith, and to you know always remember that somebody loves you. Going into this project, I didn't know much about the foster system, but we've had the opportunity to go to a lot of events and meet so many people and hear their stories, and it's really opened my eyes, and, and it's, it's a huge blessing to be able to represent for that part of society. So, I don't know, I, I hope that we get really deep into a lot more of, of what happens in the foster system, because there's a lot that I've learned that you don't hear about, so I think it would be really awesome to touch that. What is the number one thing that you think you've learned about family while working on this show? One line that is my favorite line ever is DNA doesn't make a family, love does. And I think that is like something awesome that I've taken, and it's so true. Like, You don't have to necessarily be related to someone, and a friend can be just as much as a family as a, as a brother or a sister. So what is your favorite part about working on The Fosters? Uh, definitely the people that I work with. Um, I love our cast and crew so much. I'm, you know, a long way from home uh, out here, so it definitely feels like I have a home and something to kind of ground me out here in this crazy town. Was it hard moving here all the way from Australia to find that sort of home? Yeah, it definitely was. Before the show, I was uh, kind of a mess. Um, I was really homesick and uh, found it hard to meet people that I was connecting with. Um, it's a very weird city in that sense. It's full of really creative, interesting people, but they're kind of hard to find. Um, so yeah, I think once I started working and, and, and just kind of found the cool places to hang out, it became much easier. Um, but yeah, it's a scary thing, definitely. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that working on the show The Fosters has given you an insight as to what the foster care system is actually like? Yeah, I definitely think it does, especially with the uh, storyline with Girls United and with Rosie O'Donnell's character and all those girls. Um, I think that it definitely does. I think that you definitely have seen Callie and Jude in a really fortunate situation, but I think with all the supporting characters that we've had, it has given us some insight into um, maybe the flaws in the system and uh, yeah, where it's kind of where where it's slipping up and where it needs improvement. What is your favorite part about working on The Fosters? The people. Uh, all the cast, the producers, the crew, the people that I get to work with, that's the best part. Well, what is one message that you would give to people who might not understand blended families and same-sex marriages? Tune in and enjoy. That's the message I would give them. Tune in and see what happens. I mean, you know, I don't think anybody should tell people what to think. Yeah. I'd much prefer they watch this show and make their own opinions. What is one thing that you think you've learned from being on this show about family? Um, well, you know, I think, I think one thing I learned from this experience shooting and whatnot um, is you can learn a lot about people uh, if you just take the time and sort of are willing to learn what they have to teach you, like based on who they are. Going, going in, in all honesty, I knew nothing about uh, the foster community. I didn't know much about the LGBT community. Um, and so the show was definitely like another, it was kind of an eye-opening experience to, to not only be introduced to those communities, but also be a part of something that they love, that they, that they look 
up to that they love what what the show is doing and the messages that it's you know conveying so for me I was kind of like wow I suddenly have an obligation to these people yeah. to you know um, do my part to make this what it, you know the best it can be I adopted my foster son my husband and I adopted our kid and so when we watch the show we're always kind of seeing you know are they gonna get it right are they gonna be accurate about telling their our story or stories like ours and they get it right every time do you think that being on the show has given you an insight as to what the foster care system is actually like I don't think it's even tipped the surface. It's, it's really hard and very frustrating. There's, there's been a lot of heartache, there's been a lot of tears, there's been a lot of um, joy and, and Peter Page cries on a daily basis <laughs> at his own stories, God bless him, because they mean so much to him. What message would you give to people who might not understand the same-sex marriages and blended families? <laughs> we have to keep it PG. <laughs> Um, I guess just picture yourself being told that you're not allowed to love your husband or your wife or your child. And that's, that's, that's a no-brainer for you. And so, therefore, try and imagine someone else being told that they, they can't love whom they love. And that's basically what people are being told that that you know you are you are wrong you are bad and they're simply loving who's to say you're not allowed to love someone i just find that very strange all right well now it's time for a time machine question oh dear <laughs> i'm really old so make it a really old question. <laughs> if you could go back in time and give your teen self one piece of advice <laughs> what would it be <laughs> That's hilarious. Also needs to be PG. <laughs> and well, I, never mind. I can't say it. No. Um, well, the funny, the funny answer would be don't be, don't become an actress. <laughs> um, the other one, the the serious thing would be trust and believe in yourself. Um, and know that you're worthy. You're worthy of, of, of love. <laughs> what is it like to see your creation come to life? It's a pretty incredible experience. You know, this whole show started a few years ago when Brad and I were sitting on uh, the couch in my apartment saying like, you know, there aren't any good family dramas on TV right now. Why is that? You know, I, we've always loved family dramas ever since we were kids. And, and we uh, thought about doing two dads and we thought about no, that's kind of being done, but what if we did two moms? And that got us really excited. And then how would two moms create a family? And we started talking about, you know, adoption and fostering, and that got us even more excited. And uh, to see those, uh, those characters that were in our heads for so long being embodied by these incredible, incredible uh, actors, is, uh, it, it's kind of hard to explain the whole experience. It's, it's, it's almost surreal. Well, what is the number one thing that you've learned about family while creating this show? Hmm. That's the number one thing I've learned about family while creating this show. Uh, that, that the definition of family, the true definition of family, is people who love you even when you're screwing it up bad. <laughs> That's a very, very good thing. Don't you think so? <laughs> I well, think teens ought to know that. That's true. Listen up. Teens want to know that you're still loved even when you're screwing it up badly. <laughs> What is one message that you would like to give to people who might not understand the same-sex marriages and blended families? I, I, I defy anyone to watch more than two, three episodes of this show and not recognize their own families in it. It's the simple truth is family is family is family. We all deal with the same challenges, the same problems. Uh, you know, uh, the Lena and Steph sexuality is so incidental to the show. It's a show about a big family, about a big created family. and, and what, what that means and what that requires and what that offers. Um, so I, I, I would be surprised that anyone watches that show and it doesn't change their hearts and minds just a little bit. Hi, I'm Peter Page. I created The Fosters and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. 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 This is JT Austin. You're watching Teens Wanna Know. Stay tuned.